Hi all, Pankaj here. So in this video, we're going to talk about control access to the office. This is going to be short and a quick video, not a long video. Okay. So what are the control accesses of the org that we could control? As you could see on your screen, we could create or deactivate a user, set the password policies, specify like the policies related to the pa password, and specify the trusted IP ranges for the login. Basically, specify the IPs through which the org could be logged in. And restrict the login access by the IP address. Basically, it's for the profiles. Like if you want to restrict the access for specific profiles, that you could do here or, and add more for the specific profiles. Now restrict login access by time. Basically, specify the time to which on like like specify the time in during which you could log into the org. It's a very simple thing and not much. So let's move to our org and let's see one by one. One more thing, how to create and deactivate a user that I have shown you in the previous video on the permissions and profile. For that, I would add a link along with the timestamp. So you could check that, no issue on that, okay? So that is one thing and now, now let's move to our org and see how we could do other things, okay? So we are on our org, so let's go to setup. First, we're gonna check password policies, okay? For that, we will go to this quick find, was it load, and type password policies here. So we have all the details regarding the password policies. Yeah, as you could see, you could say different things like the user's password expiry and like expiry duration, expiry for the password and post pa password history. Okay, three password remembered. Okay, like it is like the old password, like it should remember, like you shouldn't change this old password like that. And the minimum length of the password and other requirements. Okay, and also as well as you could type the help message for that if the user is logged out or is unable to log in. Okay. So that for the password policies, now let's talk about the network access. We will not be creating much, we will just be looking at because things are simple, easy and you could add the things that you need as per your requirement. Let's go to the network access and here just you create new and you could type your trusted IP ranges here. Start IP address and IP address description and you just save it. That is for the IP address. Now let's talk it with respect to the profiles, specific profiles, the login hours and the IP. So we type here profiles and let's go to that specific profile. So let's go to the profile that we created in previous video. That is testing profile. So you are on the testing profile. You go to your, these are the login hours that you could limit. Just edit it. So it's the time Monday, Tuesday, Friday till Saturday, till like all the weeks here. And then you could type the start time, then end time. So you could set the time with respect to your like days. All the days here, start time and end time that you could set here. No issue on that. So now let's move to the IP addresses that we were talking about with respect to the profile. It is similar to that we did in the network access. So let it load. Okay, let's go to the profile overview and here are the login IP ranges that you could specify for it add IP ranges and you could start and uh, start IP address and the end IP address and you are done with it okay so that's how you do things this is not much in a video hope clear to you thanks for watching